Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today we've got a first on the channel. It's the first ever seagull watch I've ever featured on the show. And this is going to be a very interesting video, guys, because seagull watches have got over 50 years of heritage in watch manufacturing and movement manufacturing. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with the brand, they are from China. And Seagull are not your normal Chinese brand. They are the foundation watch manufacturer. And believe it or not, a lot of the watches you get from micro brands, if they are manual wind or mechanical automatic chronograph movements, under the 500 pounds, a lot of these guys will be using seagull movements. And I'll put it to you like this. If you've got a skeletonized watch and it's highly decorative, it will be from seagull. It won't be from Seiko or Miyota. Their movements are quite highly decorative and probably look the best at a, an affordable price point. So just to make you guys familiar with that. But seagull... You know, they've been around for a long, long time, guys. And as you can see here, guys, they produce some very cool, affordable mechanical watches. And as you can see, this is a Seagull Pilot's watch, and it really has got the element of its own design. Now, it does look like a chronograph movement. And um, everything you see from the pushers to the crown, uh, they all have functions. This is not a fake watch you could say in terms of its pushers that you get at an affordable price but as you can see the two sub dials there guys have both got the date and day function so let's change perspective let's go into the specification of this watch and how it works and we'll take a closer look at the pros and cons and i'll give you my first impression now this watch comes in at 170 pounds sterling for 20 20 free guys and what can i say it's a very very affordable watch but does the price give you good value for money because this is for somebody who wants to build an affordable watch collection under that 200 pound mark let's change perspective and take a closer look at the timepiece at hand Now let's change perspective and go through the specification of this Seagull Pilot's watch. Now the watch itself has a case diameter of 43 millimeters. Now lug to lug, you're looking at 51 millimeters. Now case thickness, let's have a look at the case thickness of this piece. You're looking at 13 0.5 millimeters now it's got a band width of 22 millimeters and the leather band does taper down it's like a black leather calf now the watch has a sapphire crystal at this price point which is uh very very good at this price point watches normally at this price point would normally have a mineral crystal so um, straight away that's very very good value for money now let's turn the watch over and you'll see a clear case back and like i said guys these seagull watches out of the affordable range of movements they are probably the best to look at so if you're looking to get someone into the hobby or you're new to the hobby and you want to see you know some cool finishing at an affordable price point look no further than seagull movements now this has got the st2502 multi-function movement as you can see there it's got a 50 meters water resistant and you can see the guilliche finishing on the rotor and on the movement and you can see it beating its heart away very cool indeed now this watch is only a 100 and 70 pound movement guys and as you can see guys when i look at this movement um you can see the sub dial the layer of the dial it's got an internal rotating bezel guys yes a eternal rotating bezel and as you can see when i play with that it's a 12 hour rotating bezel very cool indeed the other pusher there is basically there to help you tell 
the, the, the date. So if you push it, you can see it giving you the date function there. And there is another pusher where you could use, I don't know, like a pin or a toothpick to basically change the subdial date function there as well. Now, um, a lot of Chinese watches normally, you know, are home margins. This is something unique to see, guys. It's something a little bit different that they've put together. And what I like about it, guys, is that um, first impression, they've used the subdials to give you a date and day function, giving you that symmetrical style on the dial. It doesn't break, you know, symmetry, which is always good. I have to say, this got a nice black PVD finishing. You know, the watch is quite large at 43 millimeters, but what can I say, guys? It is extremely good value for money, but is the watch good quality? Well, guys, I have to say, the quality of the watch is very good. Um, it gives you a chronograph vibe, even though it's not, but it's not a fake watch. And what I mean by that is, the pushers all have functions and actually work and they actually do something, which is very good. You get a lot of watches at this price point when they come in and I send them straight back that the pushers are just there for show. You know, they really are a gimmick of a watch to look like there's something expensive. When you get close up with it, you realize that it's not really a good quality product. So overall, guys, if you're looking for a very cheap, affordable watch that looks cool with that blue navy, dial with the big numerals there very legible what i would say the 12 hour internal rotating bezel isn't the best not very visible very small but it works very well and it has a little click i don't know if you can hear that it clicks to let you know when it's moved to a different time zone as well very very good indeed it's 50 meters water resistance if I was being overly critical, the only real negatives about this watch is probably the leather strap. Pretty poor quality, but it does the job, um, to be fair. Um, but I would I would swap this out for something else. It is genuine leather, but it doesn't feel at you know the highest quality. But guys, at this price point, what would you expect? I mean, it's £170. It looks very cool. It's got a real combat feel, very stealth-like, I have to say, this particular Seagull watch. But um, overall, I have to say, guys, it's a very cool, intriguing watch, guys. And um, at the price, if you're looking to build an affordable watch collection under the £200, this is a great starter piece. You know, Seagull have got some real substance and heritage. They've been going for 50 years, unlike some of the smaller brands out there. And you know what, guys? If you see a watch that's skeletonized or manual wind coming from a micro brand, believe me, it's not going to be a Seiko movement or Miyota because they are far more expensive. And um, they even produce high complications like Turbion watches. Whether they're reliable or not, only time will tell. But to be honest with you, you know, these watches, the movements they have are very cost effective. And I, I'm assuming if you ever had an issue, it would be a movement replacement, guys, rather than getting a watchmaker to service them. So you could send this to Seagull if you've got a problem with it and they would just do a movement replacement very quickly, guys. So, guys, they are a very cost effective watch. I'll give you some loom shots as well. Uh, very cool loom and some wrist shots. Leave your comments below what you think of this particular timepiece. And, guys, I'll see you in the next video.